What's up RC people? Welcome to the RC channel. I'm the RC guy. Hope you guys are having a good day. Staying safe out there. Today I've got this little charger I want to show you. It's made by Ultra Power. The model is UP-S6AC. You can pick it up on Banggood. They go for about 40 bucks and it has a five star rating. It's a really nice charger. It does regular LiPo batteries or you can do the high voltage and it does four different styles of connectors it has the micro or a Molex plug it has the MCX plug MCPX or a JST and you can charge those batteries on charge current from 0.1 amp up to 1 amp um, the dimensions for this charger is 125 millimeters by 78 by 42 and it weighs about 200 grams and you can charge AC or DC let's open up the box and see what it looks like it comes packaged very well it's got a nice protective foam bag here's the charger and all the ports you got three on one side three on the other there's your DC input which is a XT60 and you can charge that with a 2 up to 4S or 7 to 17 volts and then that's your 110 connection and then it also comes with a European style cord but they do include this converter so you can use it for a US plug and then that just plugs in the side there and then it comes with the instruction manual. It's very nice instruction manual. It's all in English. Um, very detailed. Very easy to understand. So let's plug it in and see the functions of it. it takes a minute to boot up. So when it's not charging a battery, it'll show this screen with just lines in it. And here I'm going to use a micro or Molex plug. This is for one of my smaller planes. So as soon as you plug it in, it starts charging. And then it tells you the voltage of the battery, the milliamps that it's charging at, and how many milliamps have gone into the battery. So I'm charging it at 0.3 amps right there and then right there will tell you how much power has gone into the battery. So you can kind of monitor the condition of your batteries that way. And then if you want to select the charge rate, you press the select button and you can charge each port at a different uh, amp rate or you can do them all at the same time and then you can adjust that with the right button so this is a 380 milliamp battery or 350 milliamps so we'll charge it at 0.3 and then once you save it you press and hold and now it'll charge at that rate. So we'll put it at 0.4, press and hold, and now we should be at 0.4, a little bit less. And then if you want to change the voltage type, so here it says regular LiPo, whoops, you can press the, the left button is select and then the right button changes the mode. And if you want to go high voltage, highlight that, press and hold the right button 
and then the battery, the lights will change color indicating that it's in high voltage mode. So this is a high voltage nanotech 550 milliamp and we'll ch charge that in the MCPX port and you'll see there now it says high voltage. It's really easy to operate. It charges the smaller MX plug for like a champ. And again, you just plug it in. And now it's in high voltage mode. We don't want that. See there, so we press the left button again. Now it's in the mode setting for the battery type. Press the right button, switch it to regular LiPo, and then press and hold. And now you're back into the regular LiPo. And then you can configure that to each different port. So here I want to do port 2, I want high voltage, press and hold, and then I'll also do port 5 as high voltage, press, press and hold. And then when I plug this in, now that one's charging at high voltage. We'll plug in the regular. That one's charging at regular LiPo. And then I'll plug in another high voltage pack here. See how this one is lit up and these are not? That's indicating that this port is a high voltage port. So when I plug that in, it's reading high voltage. But when it's not in use, any port that you select high voltage will be indicated by that green light. See if I disconnect this, port two and five is green, indicating that's a high voltage port. And then if we wanna change that, you can press the select button press again it will highlight all or you can do individual so we'll switch that back to regular press press and hold and now port 5 is only high voltage see there now it's back to regular lipo and then if we want to change port 5 back press the select button and then we'll highlight port 5 and then with the right button you can select and then press and hold and now we're back all to low voltage regular LiPo very handy charger if you're flying the mini drones or smaller airplanes you go through these batteries kind of fast so you can do six at a time and that's no problem with that and then if you want to use it as a field charger you can just use your regular LiPo 2 to 4S and you just plug it into the DC port and now it's running off of the LiPo battery you just plug it in and that starts charging it's very handy to have um, if you want to charge a bunch of batteries, this will do it real fast. It's very accurate. I've never had a problem with it. Super happy with this charger. It's very compact. You can just put it in your charge uh, in your field box, or you can even put it in your radio box and just charge your little batteries as you go. And then you can also get these connections 
where you can plug it into your car battery if you like or they also have a conversion plug if you're running Deans you can go from the XT60 to a Dean connector or like a smaller type it just plugs in like that but most everything now comes with the XT60 so it's really nice to have I can't recommend it enough it's a very very nice charger very durable doesn't get hot and then when the batteries are done it beeps just loud enough to hear it it's not an obnoxious beep letting you know that the battery is complete that's it the battery's done it's not an obnoxious beep it's just very subtle I don't like I have another charger that's similar to this but it's a four port and the beep is so loud it makes me jump every time it's finished charging this one's much quieter I like this charger a lot better and then here it shows you the overall milliamps that was put into the battery 41 so that's it it's real simple real nice charger hope you guys enjoyed the video please consider subscribing give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time thanks for watching